Yeah, so I'm uh, just waiting for getting the boarding passes and uh, so just I think moving along the process. Uh, so I think there is a good amount of line which I can see. Yeah, if you can see the, um, I think the line. So this is all Air India. So, so the Air India counters, and I think the, probably the flight will be over overbooked. Uh, let's see. I think with the counter staff, and and I will give you update uh, once I'm done with it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm done with my immigration and there was a big line. Um, so I think in my last trip, I didn't had such a big line. So I think that's, uh, that shows <laughs> uh, in the minds of people, the COVID is fading away and, um, and I hope for the best. Uh, so let's see, I think one of the um, I think places I can show you um, I think you have probably seen uh, before as well uh, if you belongs to the San Francisco Bay Area or you are an immigrant who usually uh, take the airplanes from San Francisco Airport so uh, I will show you uh, the, the actual airport and basically the duty-free shops uh, so you can have some idea if you are new to the San Francisco airport so these are the duty-free shops uh, so when you come from immigration so then you just come across these shops and these are basically um, above market price shops obviously you you know you know the effect of the uh, airports and uh, also the uh, if you go to any theater to watch movies so you have also seen i think that same effect so these are some of the seas candies i think that's good to see because um, I try to avoid any, I think, sweets, uh, obviously, but still you will have a uh, craving about it. And now we see uh, the Reese, I think, Hershey's, and that's cool package. Uh, so we have, then we have some other cookies. And, and it's a good display obviously you are in the airport and it feels like an airport um, uh, so this is I think one of the good um, I think the candy companies I like uh, they have really very good caramel chocolates and also they are gift packs that's cool there is some sitting place here if you want to just wait down here instead of being at one of the gates because sometimes it gets overcrowded so these are some of the um, I think herbal teas some of the goggles and also more vitamins and calcium and, um, and some beauty products some liquor it's obvious you will see these kind of products I think in, in mostly in, in in all of the um, duty free shops obviously liquor is one of them because people just like to enjoy some liquor uh, mostly it should <laughs> you should not have it on the plane too much otherwise you will create uh, issues um, and you will get in trouble but still I think liquor is wines uh, are uh, some of the items which usually people like to carry and but if you see the prices um, probably I think um, for tequila the 
the 28 price it seems to be i think on the cheaper side okay that's surprising uh, because usually these shops have more prices but sometimes you can find here and there some uh, prices which are somewhat interesting so this is one of Louis uh, from France it's 8900 yeah um, probably there would be many people who just like to have uh, good expensive liquors so there are some electronics as well and some of the I think finest brands in also if we see the fragrance and we see any I think other beauty products so there are several um, if you see foundations and, and also I think there is your typical lipsticks and I think every kind of beauty product you can imagine so 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 it's it's one one stop for almost all your needs or all your cravings which you usually have uh, when you when you are going for a vacation or a trip and you just want to enjoy so so also you have products for men then you see goggles, watches, so watches are also yeah, with uh, good brands from Armani and, and more beauty products. So basically you can have more beauty products and then on the liquor on the other side which is typical uh, and also you have bags uh, sometime you want to have one of the bags you are just taking your plastic bags which which is not I think good for environment but still I think you can get rid of that and and take one of these bags it looks cool nice and also there are some few cho chocolate collections dedicated from San Francisco market so that's a good um, I think local involvement um, at the International Airport which I think we should all promote so more chocolates and so that's the duty-free shop you can see more San Francisco local yeah that's uh, that's for the so this is so you will encounter this this shop when you just directly come from immigration and that's the first big outlet you will encounter it's big also I'd like to show you um, so there is quite amount of people I think it was last time in February when I had my last trip uh, I didn't see any people and I think all the restaurants were closed in February so um, so let's see I think uh, the Air India so, so probably I think Air India is on time it's at gate 4 so let's go to gate 4 but in the meantime also <coughs> see other places usually gate 4 is is down below uh, that's the usual place for Air India but uh, before that I also like to show you Napa Farms Market so that's a good size bakery you can enjoy many products here your normal 
cupcakes, potions, and any I think local shop made. That's okay. That's the bottles, fillable bottles. Um, so, so it's a good size, I think, place where you can get at least your sweet cravings uh, handled. So, if you see, there is chocolates. There is all your pre-made sandwiches and burgers and fruit packs and wraps and also these candies popcorn that's good and there's also a good i think a bar with a good sitting place and, and then there is i think a whole lot of different dishes which include sandwiches yogurt and breakfast you can have so pizza so, so let me see i think i will have something i'm just trying to see what <laughs> because i am trying to avoid to have too much food uh, so because obviously you have to just sit there unfortunately i think i like to have some kind of a like a relaxing playing area in uh, on the airplane but probably i'm asking too much maybe so uh, so i will have something so this is napa farms market so i'm having a hot chocolate um, so i didn't feel good um, to get something else uh, other than this because i just want to avoid i think before sitting or 16 hours to to have much eating because uh, i think you will be getting a lot of food um, in the flight as well i think we will be getting lunch because the flight uh, will be taking off around 10 30 so uh, probably up about like hour and and after we will have the lunch so yeah just want to avoid that so this on chocolate in itself i think it's doesn't seem so much of a chocolate <laughs> yeah it's it seems like uh, in the water someone just put chocolate <laughs> not even chocolate i think it's 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 a very light taste so you don't actually because when you think about hot chocolate you usually think about uh, uh, something sweet, but it doesn't seem something sweet. <laughs> uh, but still, it's it's not that bad. So I will still have it, uh, and then I will proceed to my uh, gate, and I will show you what's the situation there.